Hey everybody. Hi, it's me, Carrie, um, your Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Farmington Hills, Michigan. I am um, setting up my page again. Y'all know you gotta wait for me to, to do that so that I can see you as you pop on, etc. So um, this is a live video for my... Um, I'm sorry. I am like, it's, you don't even want to know. It's been a crazy, crazy week for me. Um, I'm starting my um, live video for my Facebook page um, and my Saturday sip, which I often do. And I um, am going to go over for those of you um, who do not know. I've had some questions about my hostess code. Um, I have a hostess code. Um, I usually have one for the month. This month it's M as in Michael, Z as in Zebra, K as in Carrie, A as in Apple, P as in Paul, P as in Paul, X as in X-Ray, and Q as in Queen. Now how this works is if you are placing an order with me, when you get to your shopping cart, up here there's going to be a thing that says add hostess code. And that's if you haven't used my link, I have a link always pinned to the top of my page every month. So when you click that, it looks like this, and this is where you type in the hostess code. And what that does is um, it puts all of them into one big party, and it helps me to be able to have stuff to give stuff away to you. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's why I ask you to use the hostess link in case you were wondering. However, that being said, um, if you are planning to place a big order, and I know many of you are next month because the catalog goes live May 3rd, um, and you're going to spend over $150, do not use that hostess code and just go to memoryinkers.com. Don't use my link because my link will take you to a hostess code and it messes up your hostess benefits. So that's how that works. So I got that out of the way. And um, thank you for those who have asked about that. Now, if you forget to use the code, um, Stampin' Up! does allow me to fix a few um, every month. So today I thought I would take a look at some of our designer series paper that is retiring. I just looked this morning and it appears to still be available. And um, it is this beautiful, I think it's called Flowering Tulips. Let me look. Flowering Fields designer series paper and you guys have seen me use it quite a bit I think um, it's just it's so pretty it has the tulips it has sky um, parts it's got different colors it's just it's truly the some of the most beautiful paper I just I really love it so if you love it too and you want to be able to get this paper you want to order it soon because I don't know if it's going to run out um, but it might um, this is that time of year things run out and as a reminder the in colors many of them are sold out the in colors that are going away um, and I know a lot of the reinkers are sold out so I'm just trying to keep you up to date there's a lot of things that are unorderable right now but they're coming um, the, I'm using the today I'm using the flowering tulip set and that is bundled right now with the awesome um, dies that cut everything out. Why is that always upside down when I want it? And then it flips. Hang on. Boom. So you see it's got all these. I have one pulled out because I'm going to use it. And here is my my sample of um, what they do and they make tulips. So um, just so you know, that's what I'm using today. I'm not using the fancy tulips. I'm just going to stamp one tulip today. But I wanted to use up some of this paper because it's, it's just so, so, so pretty. So I decided that I wanted a fairly simple card today. Um, and so, um, and it is Saturday Sip, which stands for um, stamps, ink, and paper. So it's supposed to be simple. So that's what I'm doing. So I have a piece of the thick basic white cardstock. Um, the thick is really awesome. You want to use that if you're doing a card base, not the basic white, um, because this is going to uh, hold up. It's stronger like a card front. And when you go to 
your friends go to stand it up on their mantle, it's going to stand up in in any direction. So um, I love, love, love the thick um, basic white and very vanilla cardstock. So that was cut at um, five and a half, and it was eight and a half folded down to four and a quarter. And then this is a piece of Poppy Parade. That's also the ink color we're going to use today. And it coordinates with the color in the designer series paper. And this is cut four inches by um, five and a quarter, which means it will frame this set. So now what I want to do with this is I am going to put the sky on and I'm using Stampin' Seal today. I know I don't always. I know I've been grabbing the, the liquid adhesive, which you know I love, love, love. And I'm probably going to grab it in a minute anyway. So I'm going to take this and I, uh, this is cut at like three and like, I think it's like seven eighths or something like that. And then I just cut it off somewhere. And then this is cut at three and seven eighths by, let me, let me look, one and a half, this piece. But it was honestly, these were scraps. And I thought, what can I do with these? And this was what I came up with. Because, you know, you cut up your designer series paper and then you have all these pieces and, you know, how can I throw this away? I mean, you know, really, you can't. It's just not. You can't. So, um, so I'm putting them together on this card to create what will be the front, obviously. So I don't see any comments yet, but I, I hope you will say hello. Tell me where you're from. Um, again, I'm from Farmington Hills, Michigan. Um, so let me know where you're from. Let me know what's going on in your life. Oh, you guys, I did that. Um, I did that Stampin' Up! Um, on tour event, which was for demonstrators. And it, it was um, a lot of fun. That's one of the perks of being a demonstrator. You get to go to these things. There were um, several, several, how many, three, I think, maybe four people who demonstrated product that's coming out. That is just some really cute ideas um, for us to be able to share with our customers, you guys. Um, and so it's really fun to be able to do that. And um, so I had really fun yesterday. It was a short it was a short event. It was only, it ended up only being three hours, not four like I thought. So, um, and then we have something coming up. We also got to talk to other demonstrators. So um, I know some of them said they were going to follow me here. So if you are a demonstrator, say um, you, you can like, don't give too much information because this is my page, but you're welcome to say hi. I saw you there. Um, also for demonstrators who watch me, and I know there's quite a few of you, and I watch other demonstrators too. But um, please know that demonstrators do not qualify for my free drawings. And speaking of free drawings, don't forget to share this video and then comment below that you've shared um, so that you can be in the drawing for a free gift next month. So, um, so I want to be sure I got that out there before I forgot. Okay, so I feel like I'm like, like all over the place today. But those of you who follow me all the time know that that's my way. I don't know how to do a straight line. I just kind of zig and zag. Okay, so I'm using the Poppy Parade ink pad. And I'm using the stamp set from Flowering Tulips. It says, no one deserves a happier birthday than you. And I'm being brave. And I'm going to stamp it up here. And this is already glued down. So you know me. I'm just praying I don't screw it up. So I'm going to stamp it up in the clouds. Oh, yay. And I think it's almost kind of straight too. So yay. So that's good. So I've got that. And then I've got a scrap of basic white. Here it is. I put this one on the pad. So I have a scrap of basic white and I'm going to be using... Um, these two pieces from the tulips, they do go together. What's nice is this one, actually, you can see the lines for that, that one. And the same with this one goes in there. And you can actually build them up and, and make them more than, um, you can do them differently than Stampin' Up! suggests. So I'm going to do full strength of this little guy here. And then I'm going to take the inside one, ink it up. 
I'm going to stamp it off so that it's a little bit lighter and then I can line it up basically with those little hearts and you see it didn't go perfect but this is kind of a sketchy set uh, sketchy in a good way so it's okay now I like the white but I don't want that much white so I'm going to grab my blender pen and I'm going to start up here where it's the second generation and grab some of that color and I'm hoping you guys can see that it is spreading it out and then I'm going to go to the darker color and pull some of that darker color over here I'll hold this up in just a minute so you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about and I'm going to fill that in where I like didn't line up perfect it's very forgiving and that's one of the things I really love about it but see now this kind of gives it um kind of a tonal and um you know when you look at tulips there is white in them so and the designer series paper obviously shows tulips with white in them and they're beautiful but this kind of spread the color out a little bit which I think we've seen that also and then um, I'm going to take that and cut it out with this die which through the magic of I did it at home I did it so I'm going to take that piece and what I want to do with it is this little flower is cut off and it bugs me so I'm going to put it right over that flower but that doesn't still look quite right. So I was trying to decide what was I gonna do. I have a little bit of this. Um, this was called Gold Shimmer Ribbon too. We have Gold Shimmer Ribbon and then we have Gold Shimmer Ribbon. I don't know, this one is more shimmery. So I thought about, um, I'm gonna put that on there and pop it up. But I, I, just, I just didn't like it. I didn't, I don't know why because I'm looking at it now going, hmm, that's not so bad. So I'm gonna think about that. I may change my mind back, but I saved a scrap of the Poppy Parade and thought I could set that in there. So if you don't have a matching ribbon, you can use your cardstock, right? So because I think that's a fun tip, that's what I'm gonna do. So this time I'm going to use my um, my liquid white adhesive just because I think it'll be easier than trying to run the tape runner on it and then I am going to try to put this on there without getting glue all over my fingers which you know is highly unlikely and hopefully it'll be fairly straight the good thing about the liquid adhesive is it's pretty forgiving it lets you um have a minute to straighten it out you see it's kind of shifting around on me there you go so now see i've got that um and I've, I've just done it with cardstock so if you don't have the ribbon of your choice and you don't want to color a ribbon which i like to do that too use a piece of cardstock and then i'm just going to glue this to the front of my card the thing I like too about using the um, basic white and very vanilla thick cardstock is I don't have to worry about cutting a piece for the inside. It's already going to be a good color. So I'm just going to set this on there and center it in. I love having it pop up off of the white. Now I always like to kind of hold this for a minute and kind of spread the glue to the corners. I don't want it right on the corners when I'm putting it on, you know, on the back, but I like it to be in there so that it sticks. Now I'm going to take my dimensionals and I'm going to pop this little tulip up so that it can be just really pretty. And I'm going to, I'm going to pick this piece off down here because I think it'll work well right there. There we go. <clears throat> Should have probably turned it the other way, but that's okay. All right, so I'm going to put that on there. Super simple card, right? Super simple. And then I'm just going to cover up that white, and so it'll kind of look like it's supposed to be right with the rest of the flowers. Now, I like that, and I think that this could be totally done just like that, but I decided to grab one of my favorite rhinestone sets, which is going away I did not see it on the do not order list, but I have this feeling um, it might be gone. 
It is the Holiday Rhinestone Basic Jewels, which were some of my favorites. You know, I've given them away quite a bit. And I am going to grab, there's three red ones. They're not necessarily um, the, the same color, but I'm going to just grab them. And I'm going to put one right there. They're going to be subtle because it's going to be kind of a um, poppy on poppy. Although I really think these are probably considered cherry cobbler or something. And I'm just adding just that tiny little bit of bling on there. So there you go. There is my card for today. Um, and I just think this is a fun, fun card. And by just doing something simple, like popping up one little flower, you've already got these beautiful flowers down here with this gorgeous designer series paper. And then using the leftover piece of cardstock. Now, when I say leftover, this poppy parade that's matted back here, um, it was, I took my cardstock and I cut it in quarters, right? So I cut it to four and a quarter by five and a half, and then I trimmed it down to four inches. And then this was what was left over from one of the ends down here. So it's the perfect length because it was cut at the same time down here, right? And, and then it makes like a, a faux ribbon. So I hope you guys like this idea and you enjoy watching me here on YouTube. And I'm seeing I wasn't holding that very well. So let me hold it down a little bit further. Lighting is not perfect. I apologize for that. But hopefully you guys can get a good quick shot of that. And um, so I'm going to be working on some videos um, over the next week. Um, some will be recorded just so you guys will be ready. There's a lot going on at my house right now. So... <laughs> I'm like scrambling. So I'm going to try and get some videos made. Plus I'm preparing for Mega Meat, which I'm very excited about. Um, so if you have any questions, let me know. I'm still not seeing any comments, which, which is very odd. It's very odd. I don't know why, but apparently nobody has said hello to me. Um, or at least I'm not seeing it, which is strange. So, um, all right. Have a wonderful and blessed weekend, and I will see you guys next week. Bye.